Key West is getting ready to honor the life of the world's greatest treasure hunter. I, of course, am talking about Mel Fisher. He was also a dreamer, visionary, and legend. His motto was always, today's the day. This morning, I'm joined by his son, Kim Fisher. Kim, thank you so much for being here with me today. My pleasure. <laughs> All right, Kim, you are getting ready to celebrate the 28th anniversary of, of his big discovery of the Atosha. That's right. It's, uh, it was 28 years ago on July 20th that uh, my father accomplished his dream. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, most men have lots of dreams, but uh, he actually accomplished his while he was still alive. And after 17 years of looking, uh, found the Atocha. Mm -hmm. After 17 years of hearing him say, today's the day, right? That's <laughs> right. Yeah, every day. You'll never forget that day, I'm sure, either, when, when that happened. No, it was an it was, uh, incredible thrill. Uh, at first, it was uh, kind of uh, hard to believe. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, I'd spent most of my life looking for this wreck, and, mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden, there it was. Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, now what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> right. But, you but it found it. <laughs> yeah, it didn't take long to figure out what to do. Uh -huh. so. Well, you guys have, you, you of course, just took off with everything, and, and you still haven't, haven't stopped searching for treasure. Absolutely have you? not. <laughs> yeah, we're still looking for a big piece of the Atocha that's missing, the Stern mm -hmm. Castle, and a part of the sister ship Margarita that sank in the same storm. Mm -hmm. And we've been, the last couple of years, uh, working on an entirely new shipwreck project. Okay. Now, now, do you have the same determination and perseverance of your father? Uh, you have to. Mm -hmm. In this business, uh, you know, you have a lot of negative stuff come at you. Uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, purist archaeologists that don't think the private sector should be treasure hunting and mm -hmm. um, lots of government bureaucracy to contend with. and and it's hard to raise money to go treasure hunting, uh, but you just have to just focus on what you want to do and, and kind of push all that stuff to the side and keep going mm -hmm. and persevere. Absolutely. Now, obviously, you think it's important to honor your, your father's legacy, and you started up the Mel Fisher's days 28 years ago. So tell me a little bit about this year's events. Well, this year we have a four-day event from the 11th to the 14th of this month, uh, July 11 to 14. And uh, we've, we've changed it a little bit, not much, but uh, the, the kickoff is uh, the Schooner's Wharf, and where we had a bikini contest in the past since uh, we've, we've started uh, donating all the proceeds 100% to the Wesley House. Mm -hmm. uh, family services, which they provide uh, help to uh, f children and families throughout the Keys. Mm -hmm. And so we, we wanted to make it a little more family oriented. So this year we've, we're having a costume contest. So it's a pirate themed costume contest. Okay, instead of the bikini contest. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, that's always a great event and, and it, it raises a lot of money for the Wesley House. Mm -hmm. uh, then the diver meet and greet is on Friday at Smoking Tuna. And uh, that's, that's always good because uh, a lot of the divers, even from 28 years ago, it's kind of like a reunion. Mm -hmm. They all come back and, and, and sit around the bar and, and, and talk about the old times. And, and a lot of people like to come and hear those stories. Oh, I'm sure. So that's a, a kind of a reminiscing party. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the next event, is on Saturday, we have the big carnival. And that's always the best fundraiser. We have uh, live music and, and uh, games you can play, and, and it's, always, it's always been a really great one. We have $14,000 in uh, items available there for the silent auction. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of neat things and treasure and, and uh, hotel stays and a lot of the, a lot of the Merchants around this town have supported us uh, in this, and I'd like to thank all of them. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then uh, on the last day, Sunday, we actually have two events. We have a, a barbecue at Charlie Max, mm -hmm. and that's going to be fun. There's going to be a, a booty bingo contest where you can win lots of treasure booty, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, you know, good, you know, eat and 
It's, it's a great time. Well, great. Well, you have lots of activities going on during those four days. And, of course, for a complete listing, people can just check out the website and see the schedule yeah, on Mel, the website. Melfisher.com, and then there's a button for Melfisher Days. All right. And it has all the details. Great. Now, I have to ask you before we go this morning, do you have a favorite memory of your father, Kim? Um, yeah, I do. It was it was the day we found the main pile. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great memory. Yeah. You can't ever top that, right? He, he had a <laughs> smile on his face that didn't disappear for weeks. Yeah, okay. it, it was uh, it was the you know culmination of his of his lifetime dream. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I think it's awesome that everybody gets a chance to honor him during the Mel Fisher Days Festival. And do you get out diving still? Yes, I do. Yeah, okay. I was out diving yesterday. Right. Uh, we found uh, some encrusted objects and. Uh, little gold. There's a lot more out there. Uh, and it will be found, I'm sure. That's right. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for being here with me this morning. Thank you, Jenna. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.